Yes! Okay. I have played this one before. Uh, we, me and Mayor have done this one for Contract Showcase. I believe, I can't remember which episode it was, but we have played this one uh, a couple times before. This is Inner Days, which is basically TikTok clock, but I don't, if, if the clock was like, I don't know, broken, <laughs> I guess is, is what you could call it. Um, this is a bit of a weird one, um, because I know there are two versions of this track. Uh, one with a really weird cannon and one without, so... This might be the one with a really weird cannon if it's in the Skeleton pack, but again, I can't be, uh, I can't be too sure right now. But yeah, this track is, like, actually really cool. It drives, uh, actually fairly nicely. Um, even though, like, again, all these mushroom sections are always, like, really, really awkward. Uh, because mushrooms in any track can just be stupidly awkward because of the suits, you know, the silly physics that mushrooms just have. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very cool, uh, like, I guess reimagining of TikTok Clock. Here's the cannon. Uh, is it the really derpy cannon? Yes, it is. Why am I all the way up here? What is this? Um, I, I think that says just a dream. Cool, that was weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that was. Okay, so I don't think I've, uh, played the version with a weird cannon before. Um, like, when me and Mero played it for CT Showcase, uh, we did it without the weird cannon. Uh, which was probably for the best, um, considering that if we had to do that cannon, like, all three laps in, uh, in that series, then that would have probably just been a little bit annoying. But no, um, it's in the skill issue pack, which is fine, because I feel like in, the, in something called the skill issue pack, you can kind of just get away with that. Uh, what mushroom cuts might I do on this track? If there are any mushroom cuts to do at all. Um, I, mean, I know there's, there's uh, like a, a cut over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's over there. I can cut across that mushroom. Uh, let's have a look and see if I can make my way across here. Oh, wait. There's another step ramp across there. I get it. Okay, I thought I had to like get down to like a section like this and then jump over. No, it's a little uh, side ramp. That's kind of hard to see, but... Um, Definitely interesting. And now all the way back up here. Whoa, that's trippy. But no, it's uh, it's a cool one. What is that? I get, I thought I saw Wake Up there for a second. Again, I'm not entirely sure like what this track is. Is this like TikTok? This is TikTok Clock. It's gone from being broken to being broken while also in like a fever dream or something. Like that's just what this track kind of is. Oh, yeah, no real, like, I can't really use my mushrooms around anywhere, because I guess I can use, like, round the corners, but, like, again, not really uh, many opportunities for mushroom cuts here. Uh, there's nothing I can really do to, like, you know, have funny mushroom bounce physics uh, moments. There aren't really any moments like that. I mean, maybe I can get a skip off here, like that. Yeah, okay, that can be used for shortcut. No, it can't. Okay. Okay, note to self, don't use mushrooms there, ever. <laughs> but, um... No, but again, it's it's a it's a cool idea. Uh, I like reimagining the tracks like this. That are just kind of a bit wonky, a bit silly. That's really hard to get around. Um, but yeah, stuff like this are just wonky, silly, goofy, and uh, just a bit fun. Um, again, the cannon is as weird as I've been led to believe. Uh, it is very very strange. But I mean, I guess that's just uh, that's just par for the core for this track. Something a sleeve. Uh, I, I, again, I've no idea what that says. But yeah, I mean, it's a cool track. Like, what else can you say about that? Um, it's a cool reimagining of TikTok Clock. And, uh, you know, you can't really get much better than that, really. Okay, I believe this is the final Bowser track in the Skeleton Pack. Um, we've played, like, loads of Bowser tracks. We've had, like, Bowser's Ghost Valley, Bowser's late, uh, like Lava Park, Bowser's Spaceway, I think it was one of them as well. Um, this is Bowser's Courtyard, and, uh, let's have a look and see what the outside is like. That is what a courtyard is. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool, you know? Yeah, it, it looks, it looks nice, actually. I don't know if Bowser's necessarily keeping his courtyard in great condition, considering that, like, I don't know. It, it's a weird one. I don't know exactly what the, the lore of this track could be. Like, Bowser decided to turn his courtyard into a racetrack, or, um, you know, it's just, it's just a naturally really hard... Uh, like, coil to navigate around. In which case, I feel really bad for the gardener that the car can clean all this up. Um, but no, this is cool. Um, I like... Again, like... What I like about the Skeleton Pack is that it puts, like... It has, like, all these characters from Mario Kart in. It puts them in all these really, like, weird situations. Like, Diddy's Interstate. Like, why does Diddy have an Interstate? Who knows? Why does Bowser have, like, a lava park? 
Although, I guess in all fairness, Bowser has, like, a... I can't remember what it's called in, uh, like, the, the Dark Matter, like... No, it's not the Dark Matter, that's Galaxy. But in Mario Party 9, they have, like, a weird, like, star collecting machine. Just because he can. For no reason. Um, so, I mean, I guess Bowser's gonna have, like, a coin on a space park. Um, but yeah, it's really strange uh, seeing all these characters put in, like, you know, given, uh, like, tracks that don't really, like, mesh with their character overall. It's a cool one, to be sure. I, I like the idea of uh, stuff like this. But yeah, uh, the track itself drives really nicely, actually. It's, it's, I haven't really had any issues with, uh, with driving the track so far. Like, it's nice. Uh, it feels smooth. There's nowhere, like, super slidey, nothing like that. Uh, they could have fallen into that trap with a dirt section, but there isn't. Uh, the shortcut's nice as well. Like you can't just... I don't believe the way that shortcut looks. You can't really just, like, cheat that, which is nice. Let's go inside here, which isn't really much. There's not really much, like, round there, like, if you're going round with a regular shortcut. Can you go up here? Oh, and you can trick off that, too. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. It's really hard. It doesn't really mean anything, but you can trick off that little uh, statue all the way at the back. That's really cool. Um, yeah, using environmental uh, assets to your advantage to take advantage of, like, the main mechanics of the game are really cool. It's why you also like, um, you know, Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe Track so much, because, like, whenever they use anti-gravity to their advantage, it's really cool. What's up here? Is this a wall? No, this is part of the road as well, for some reason. It doesn't really mean much, but, I mean, it's cool this is here, I guess. Um, yeah, not really much else I can really uh, do about that. You know, we could probably drive. I mean, there's no real point. We could probably drive all the way around that uh, that little ramp section there. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much else I can say about this track. It's, it drives really nicely. Um, it, you know, it plays nice. It looks pretty good as well. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. I don't know if this is like... I, I'd have to play like replay all the other Bowser tracks to determine whether I think like this one is good. So I remember there being like a Bowser track. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was like... It's in one of the earlier episodes, I think, where we played a Bowser track. And that one was, like, really good. Um, I can't remember exactly what that one was called, but I'm sure if I, uh, if I look it up again uh, in one of the earlier episodes, I can, uh, I can find out which one it is. Um, but no, like, this one, compared to that one, this one is probably second in terms of my favourite Bowser tracks. Because this one is actually really cool. Like, going through the different environments, going from, like, the little lava section, down to the castle section as well down here, into the actual courtyard itself. And even that has a few, like, nice twists and turns. Okay, you can't multi-trick off that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool track overall. Um, a bit long for three laps, maybe. But yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed by this one. Um, it drives very nicely, and uh, yeah, it's a really good Bowser track, so uh, fair play. This was great. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Nice uh, waterfall that's like stopped in time here, it looks like. This is like, uh, like a tree top tour, uh, and the floor's glitching. We're in a simulation. Um, this is interesting. When I think of, uh, Treetop Tour, I think of something like, uh, Mario Golf Toastal Tour with, uh, the Treetop level in there. Uh, but this is actually kind of cool. This is an interesting idea. I wonder if all of- oh boy, hello Wigglers. Uh, that's unclear. Why am I up here now? Okay. Oh wait, I go through the tree. I see. I'm, I'm with you now. That's so misleading. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wonky physics time! Oh dear. Ah, help! God, this is a strange one. It's so unclear. There's, there's no walls or arrows anywhere, so you can't really tell, oh boy, where you're actually going. This is awkward. Hold on, wait. Oh, I'm... Why did I respawn back here now? Oh, the respawns of this track are interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> God. I'm gonna have to take this one super carefully, uh, so I don't just fall off for no reason. Okay, go all the way over here. Break? No. There's like weird BC3 ramps going over here, and I'm now I'm just stuck here. Okay, again, take it super carefully. Let's not do anything super hasty. Round here, and we're back. Okay, now over here, we go all the way across. Where's the turn? <laughs> I don't know where the turn is. Okay, there's the turn. Okay, again, just... Oh, hello, Wiggler. Just stay calm. Stay cool, calm, and collected. We go over here. And then... Okay, we're back round. We're in another level now. 
Okay, it's very much like, uh, weirdly like Mario Galaxy inspired. Is this where you're meant to go? Uh, this doesn't feel like this is where you're meant to go. No, it's probably not. Wait. Uh, I am so lost. Okay, I, I do go up here. Uh, but like, where else... Where else can I go from here? I mean, clearly here, but like, there's no... Oh wait! There is stuff down here. Okay, I go back down. Ah, I see. We're working it out, it's a puzzle. And then up here? To this cannon area, maybe? Yep, there you go. Okay, we figured the track out. Uh, now I have to do that twice more. Oh, cool, nice shortcut. Nice, okay. This track is kind of uh, in depth. It's just that it drives unnecessarily awkwardly and for zero reason. Um, like, this track, would, I, I would praise this track more if it wasn't just an absolute mess of like really weird and awkward geometry. Okay. Uh, where does that respawn me? Okay, that's actually a fair respawn. But again, this is like, this is really weird. Like, it's, it's fine up to here, and then it just suddenly turns into a bit of a mess. Um, but I mean, at least Wigglers are here, and Wigglers are always cute. So, uh, you know, you can't complain too much about that. Okay, now I'm starting to get the track down a little bit. Here we go. Back up here. This is probably the only part I still have a little bit of uh, confusion on. So, it's up here. And then when we get to the, uh, the other part, we stop, and then we go down to the left. Here we go. But yeah, this almost reminds me of, like, uh, three things now, actually. So it's, uh, you know, the treetop level from um, uh, Mario Golf. Uh, got, like, the uh, the Golden Leaf Galaxy from Mario Galaxy. And it reminded me, there was one other thing it reminded me of. It, it was in my head a second ago. I can't remember what it reminds me of uh, as well, uh, apart from those two. But um, it'll probably come to me after this video is done, knowing me. Um, but, yeah, again, I'd praise it more if this track wasn't just so... Awkward with how it uh, with how it controls because uh, yeah I don't know, I really like the theme I do like the uh, the way it looks it does actually look uh, kind of, it does actually look kind of pretty I like the uh, you know I mean obviously you know this is it's it I'm still driving okay cool but, oh my god bye this is Mario just went underground for a second why is that a thing okay. Um, Weird, that. <laughs> you can't really say much more than that. Um, yeah, I praised the, the track more if it drove, like, nice. Because the, the majority of the track looks really, like, it drives kind of nicely. It's just, like, you know, there's no signpost. You know where to tell you, like, where you're going. Um, but no. Um, like, other than that, the track is actually, like, kind of fun. Um, I wish it hasn't taken me this long. Like, it's taken me, like, over five minutes to do. Um, but yeah. I like the way the track looks. I just wish that it drove a little bit better. Uh, that's my main takeaway of it. But yeah, it's a cool track overall. Just wish it drove a little better. Oh, God. <laughs> I, what what can you say about this track? I don't know if Daisy Circuit music is fitting for this track. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest. This, is, this doesn't look very calm or relaxing. I am just baffled by all of this. I... It's... I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what this track is. I don't, I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. This is a really, really, really weird one. Um, but yeah. Oh god, I, I'm not. I, I'm not even gonna say anything. This is like it's in the skillgy pack. I have to play it. Uh, like here it is. But I mean, yeah. Weird. This like again. I don't even really know what to say about this track. I guess I can comment on how the track drives. Like, the track drives fairly nicely. There's a lot going on for seemingly, like, no reason. But, I mean, it drives nicely. I mean, that's the thing. It, it, do it does drive great. Um, like, the shortcut here, it's really, it's, like, not clear, really, as to, like, where the main track is. Um, like, it's, it's very, very, I mean, like, I wouldn't expect this track to be good. I'm not going to sit here and, like, say, yes, I had, like, extremely high hopes for this track. Because, like, when you see a track like this, you don't really think, ah, yes, it's going to be a technical masterpiece, do you? Um, I mean, the anti-ground stacks up here look cool. Let's take one of these. 
Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, the little uh, slopey sections. That's pretty nice. But yeah, like, it's, oh, it's, it's weird. Um, it's very, very weird. I can't really say much more about this one. It is, it is an odd track. Uh, you know, what else can you say about it? Um, the Wigglers are nice. Um, I like the, uh, like, the little fire, uh, pillars, um, from my DS, uh, Edge at Fortress slash Bowser's Castle. That's always, it's always nice to see them. Uh, why I had to be on this track, I have no idea, but, I mean, there you go. It is a very strange one. That's all you can really say about it. Alright, we're coming up to the end of the track now, and, uh, again, I still don't really know what to say about it. What I will say is that, uh, we are close to the end of the series now. Uh, eight tracks to go. Two more episodes, and then, uh, and then it's done. Uh, which, yeah, it's gonna feel really weird. Uh, like, not having anything to upload every Tuesday, but here we are. Um, but yeah, uh, two more episodes to go, and, uh, yeah, we finally finished this track. I don't really know what to say about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, my God.